Hi everybody, Renee here, and today I am making a birthday card for my niece. Um, it is almost her birthday, so I thought this was a really cute stamp set to use. Um, it's called um, Dandelion, I think it's called Dandelion Wishes, yeah, Dandelion Wishes. And um, it just has this really cute um, dandelion, which, you know, they're really cute when you're a kid and you're blowing them, but it's, they're not really cute when you're an adult and you're fighting them in your yard, but she's a kid. So we're going to keep the fun with them. And it was always, you know, if you could get all of the, all of the stuff off, all the fluff off in one blow, you'd get your wish. That's what we used to do. So, so anyway, here's what I've done so far. Um, I have already cut all of my pieces. This is some scrap that I had left over from So Much Happy. So worked out great. I'm using my scraps and I cut this at four by five and a quarter. Then unfortunately, this is a retired paper. It was one of my favorite colors ever. Um, this is um, cut at, uh, let's see, three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then <clears throat> I already did my stamping. It was really simple. So, um, and then this piece is three by five and a quarter. Um, I also cut the largest circle out of our circle dies, and then I white heat, heat embossed um, the sentiment. Now, unfortunately, the sentiment is so big, it's going to cover up part of my stamping, but I think it's okay. I mean, that is really cute, but I don't think we lose anything by covering it up. So I'll probably use this design again um, and actually use, like they did in the book, this design came from our idea book, and they used make a wish. And so you could get that on a smaller circle and then you wouldn't cover up some of your stamping. So, but we're just gonna go ahead and put this together. You'll see how quick and fast this is to put together. I, I stamped everything in pewter ink, um, but I'm thinking maybe in the idea book, they used an even lighter gray or maybe they did um, second generation stamping where you stamp off on a scrap piece of paper and then stamp with the ink that's left and you get a really light impression. Um, however, I think this still turned out really cute and I think my niece is going to like it. Um, she'll probably like the, uh, the gift card inside a little bit more, but you know how kids are. <clears throat> she is, <clears throat> I'm trying to think how old she's gonna be. I think, I'm such a horrible aunt. I think she's gonna be 10 years old actually. She's um, she's in fourth grade and um, she's doing so great in school. She's in the um, accelerated classes and honors classes, whatever they call them now. Um, and she's doing really well, so I'm really proud of her. I don't get to see her all that much because they live in Arizona and of course we live in Tennessee. So, okay, there's that. And now it's done. We just need to put it on our, on our uh, card base. And these are the card bases I always use. Um, love them. If you have any questions about them, just let me, let me a comment. Um, and um, if you like these short card making videos, let me know. If you'd like me to make them a little bit longer and show you my stamping process, I can do that too. Um, just let me know. I'll be happy to do that. And there is our completed card. Now, if you wanted to dress it up a little bit, you could put some of our gems on it. You could put some sequins on it. Um, I noticed that when I put those sort of things on, th on them and I mail them, they pop through the envelope. So, and I just want to do a regular envelope with this one. I wasn't going to do a padded envelope. So I think I'll leave them off this time, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. That would help me out a whole bunch. And um, have a great day. <laughs> Bye.